Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God bless you for listening to the word of God. We've been considering ways we can know God. And this week, we've been talking about the word of God. We are doing an expose on the word of God. We've spoken about the word of God as light and the word of God as a mirror. And today, we'll be looking at yet another symbolism or description of the word of God which is the word of God as a seed. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for your goodness and your mercy. We pray that let your mercy find us. We pray that let your goodness of God follow us. Even as we hear the word of God, let us be transformed by the word and draw us closer to you, even as we seek to know you. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. Today we'll be looking at the word of God as a seed and as we all know a seed is a unit of plant life you know it contains the genetic code that reproduces and multiplies after its own kind you know the seed is a plant of the part of the plant life that has the ability to propagate the existence of that plant so it means that without the seed that particular species of the plant will go extinct you know So the seed is very important in ensuring that the plant exists for a very, very long time. Amen. And we all know that for every seed to grow up and to bear fruit, it has to be planted and kept under conducive conditions that engenders growth. It has to be put in a fertile ground and nurtured and watered so that it can bear fruit. It can grow into a good plant and bear much fruit. You know, Jesus gave a parable in Luke chapter 8, and I want us to read it. It's in Luke chapter 8, verse 5. It talks about the sower who went to sow. He said, A sower went out to sow his seed, and as he sowed, some fell along the path and was trampled underfoot, and the beds of the air devoured it. And he said, some fell on the rock, and as it grew up, it withered away because it had no moisture. And seven says, and some fell among thorns, and the thorns grew up with it and choked it. But verse 8, he said that, and some fell into a good soil and grew and yielded a hundredfold. Hallelujah. Which means that for a seed to grow, it should fall on a good soil so that it can yield a hundredfold. And after these things, Jesus said, He who has ears, let him hear. And when the disciples asked him what the parable meant, he said in verse 11, Luke chapter 8, verse 11, he said, Now the parable is this, the seed is the word of God. The seed is is the word of God. You see, so we're looking at the fact that in verse 8 of Luke chapter 8, you see that the seed bore a hundredfold, a bore fruit of a hundredfold because it fell on the good ground. Hallelujah. It fell on the good ground. And the Bible said this seed is the word of God. And Jesus went ahead to explain what the various grounds that the seed fell upon meant. You know, he said, verse 12, the ones along the path are those who have heard. Then the devil comes and takes away and the word from their heart so that they may not believe and be saved. 13 say that. And the ones on the rock are those who, when they hear the word, receive it with joy. But these have no root. They believe for a while and in a time of testing fall away. 14 said, And as for what fell among the tombs, they are those who hear. But as they go on their way, they are choked by the curse and riches and pleasures of life, and their fruit does not mature. But 15, he said, as for that in the good soil, they are those who, hearing the word of God, hold it fast or keep it in an 
honest and good heart and bear fruit with patience. Hallelujah. Which means that for a seed to grow and bear a hundredfold of fruit, it must be received with a good heart, kept by meditation and a willingness to do according to it. Then it will bear fruit of a hundredfold. Hallelujah. So when you receive the word of God, it is important that it is planted in our heart so that it can bear a good fruit. The seed is the word of God. You know, what does it mean for a seed to bear a hundredfold? You see, if you compare the natural seeds of plants to the seed of the word of God, you will see that for natural seeds of plants, they are only able to bear fruit after their kind, only. But the seed of the word of God, as the Bible says, is able to bear fruits of a hundredfold. Look, for example, it can bear the fruits of faith. Romans 10, 17. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God, which means that when the seed of the word of God is planted in your heart, it can bear the fruit of faith. And the Bible said, without faith, it is impossible to please God. Also, the seed of the word of God can bear the fruit of healing. Psalm 107 verse 20, he said, he sent his word and healed them and delivered them from all their fears. Hallelujah. Which means that the word of God, the seed of the word of God, when he received into the heart and kept by meditation and believed upon, it can bear fruits of healing. Hallelujah. It can also bear fruits of righteousness. The Bible said, Psalm 119 verse 11, Thy word have I hidden in my heart, that I may not sin against you. Hallelujah. Which means that the seed of the word of God can bear fruit of righteousness and help you to live a holy life so that you can please God. You see, the seed of the word of God can also bear fruits of divine direction. The Bible said in Psalm 119 verse 105, it said that thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a lamp unto my path. The word of God, the seed of the word of God can bear fruit of divine direction. Hallelujah. It is important that we plant the word of God in the good crevices of our hearts. We need a good heart, a good soil to receive the word of God. Nature it by meditation and having a willingness to do according to the word of God so that it can bear much fruit. Hallelujah. Psalm 1, he said that, blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly or sit in the seat of, of scoffers. He said, but his delight is in the law of the Lord or the word of the Lord upon which he meditates day and night. And he said that this person shall be like a tree planted by the streams of water that bears its fruit its season and whose leaves will never wither. Hallelujah. And so if you're somebody who meditates and delights in the word of God, you shall bear much fruit. Your fruit will come in its season and your leaves shall always be green. They shall not wither. The seed is the word of God. Hallelujah. So I pray for you that you shall begin to develop the habit of loving the word of God, receiving the word of God into your heart, believing the word of God, meditating on the word of God, and having a willingness to do according to the word of God so that you shall bear much fruit, fruit unto a hundredfold. God bless you and have a fruitful day. Amen.